More than 9 out of 10 small businesses in the UK fall into the small and medium sized category. They employ more than half of the workforce and the government is depending on them to play a significant role in driving recovery. But in Scotland it's predicted that family businesses will be the key to revitalising the economy. The man behind that prediction is Martin Stepek, the Chief Executive of the Scottish Family Business Association and our reporter Amy Thomason spoke to him in Glasgow. So Martin, you say that uh, family businesses are the key to pulling Scotland out of the recession. Why family businesses over small businesses in general? Well, I think small businesses in general can make a big difference. But I think the difference with family businesses is that they have a long-term approach that other forms of business don't tend to have. The family are inherently interested in looking at the next generation coming into the business. That can be 20, 30 years hence. And if you're looking at that kind of length of time, you're looking for a sense of stability within the business, you're looking at employing good quality people, you're looking at keeping those people, and you're looking at consistently building over a long period of time. There's no other model of business that I know of that can do that as consistently or wants to do that as consistently. So what are some of the key things these family businesses can do to help Scotland? Well, I think one of the interesting things about family businesses is that they are very geographically dispersed in a way that big businesses tend to congregate am amongst main distribution routes or in the big cities. Small businesses tend to predominate in, in bigger places as well. But family businesses are found in the islands, they're found in the highlands, they're found in the borders, they're found in all the rural areas. And they stay there, they stay there for decade upon decade, sometimes centuries. So you've got local wealth creation and you've got the, a loyalty to place so that they don't up sticks and, and go somewhere else as they grow um, bigger. You've got examples like Baxter's make the soups and Walker's shortbread. They've got head offices after becoming global brands in little towns like Aberlour and Fockabers of 1,500 people. You just couldn't possibly find that in other big businesses unless the family um, loyalty to the area was there. Do you think they simply keep it in the family or do, do they really employ a lot of people? Well, the employee, family businesses can go from as small as a little husband and wife butcher shop in a village all the way up to, well, here in Scotland you've got Miller Construction, a billion pound construction company. The family tend to hold on to ownership, but very often, especially when it gets to second, third generation, it tends to feel like a stewardship. You're doing it on behalf of a wider community, um, and that community is the employees, to whom family businesses tend to be very loyal. And you tend to get second, third, fourth generation of the same family working for a family business. Um, so it's, it's much wider than just the family. Um, there's even the, the regional loyalty, a sense of loyalty to place. And that just doesn't mean the town, but a sense of care for environment, consideration, conservation of an area. You just tend to get a feel of that this is bigger than you, that, that you're receiving from the community, therefore you need to give back and be careful of, for the community. Do you think these family business, businesses realise they're the key to helping the re Scotland out no, of recession? No, most of them don't. It's, it's an astonishing thing. The way that government measures um, an economy and the way that most people measure an economy is in terms of small, medium or large businesses or sectors. So you've got health sector, retail, you've got finance, you've got banking. But family businesses are in all of those. And therefore the family businesses themselves don't understand that they're part of this enormous, big, unique sector. Unique because they've got these built-in ethics and these long-term approaches. But once they start to realise it, you know, the ones who do, they take a great pride in it. And they, they tend to grow in stature in their own minds. And I think that's kind of what we exist to do, is to not only help family businesses be educated and trained in best practices to keep them strong, but also to let them realise just how important they are socially as well as economically. So what can the government do to help? Well, I think the very first thing they can do is to recognise the stats. Scotland's typical of the UK, typical of Europe, typical of the globe, and family businesses are 71% of all businesses in Scotland. 41 of the top 100 businesses in Scotland are family owned. 45% of the GDP comes from family businesses, 50% of the private sector workforce work in family businesses. That means they're massively important. Government don't see it that way. The dominant paradigm is that you inward invest from outside companies or you do loads and loads of startups, but you've got this massive long-term important sector called the family business sector. So if they first of all just realise how important that is, 
then from that come some logical consequences. Up here we've got the equivalent of RDAs, which is Scottish Enterprise. Good organisations, do a lot of good work, but they've maybe got two, three hundred million pounds budget. Family businesses, 45% of GDP, why don't they put 45% of their budget to family businesses? That would transform it. If they put 4.5%, it would transform it. A few million pounds in education, training, awareness raising consistently would so raise the quality of family businesses over the long term, and family businesses are for the long term. I mean, and lastly, do you think this is applicable to the whole of the UK, or just oh, here in Scotland? absolutely. I don't know the situation in Wales or Northern Ireland as well, but I know the situation in England fairly well, and it's, if anything, it's bigger than in Scotland. Um, there may be a million family businesses in England, um, and some absolute classics, like iconic ones like Clark's Shoes. And I don't even know if family businesses of that size really understand their social importance as well as their economic importance. Um, I think it could be revolutionary um, for the whole of the UK. Martin, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime.